it's good to be back outside cooking. Uh, you see, you'll probably see some smoke float by. That's just because we're using the Weber kettle for this, and uh, we're getting it ready right now. We're just using straight charcoal and two pieces of apple wood for this. Today's meal is will make a great appetizer. It is also a great meal, and it's just chicken tenders wrapped in bacon. We are using Uncle Steve's competition bird powder. If you don't have any Uncle Steve's, I'll put a recipe down below for a shake that you can make yourself. I've had it before, it's really good, but I do like Uncle Steve's. He's not a sponsor. He does not sponsor either one of my shows, whether it be the regular Monday uh, show or my talk show on Wednesdays, but he's a great guy. He's a single dad, just trying to make his way in life. He's a very generous person. And if you do check out his link, I'll put it below. Tell him the dude sent you. All right, let's get to making this. For me, this is actually the boring part of the cook. I'm just taking a bacon and cutting it in half. Put it off to the side. We're gonna take our chicken tenders. You could use chicken thigh, uh, chicken breast, anything. As long as it's boneless, you can make it. You are gonna need toothpicks for this, but it's a piece of cake, show you how. Take our piece of bacon and a chicken tender, and we just wrap it around. Before we put them on the Weber, we're gonna just sprinkle some Uncle Steve shake over them. A little bit goes a long ways. Perfect. It's time to put them on the Weber. Our temperatures hit 400 degrees. Our grate's clean. And you know me, I like the indirect heat method. So we're just gonna go around the heat Some of these are bigger than others, and so they're gonna cook faster, and that's all right. Especially that little guy. We're gonna let these sit for a few minutes, and then we will check in on them. You know what time it is. It's time for our white Russian break. While our food's cooking, it's time to make a drink. Today, we are making a white Russian, but we're gonna go a little bit further than that, because we are gonna make a Colorado Bulldog. Fell in love with these drinks recently. I actually made one for a collaboration called Hashtag Drink Tips. I'll put the link up there to my Colorado Bulldog, or you can just watch me make it. Everything is just the same to making a White Russian. The difference is a Coca-Cola. Uh, put some in there. We're gonna give it a good stir. Loving that fizz on the top. Let's try it. Heck yeah, that's good stuff. All right, back to cooking. We're about five minutes down on the indirect method. Let's give it a flip. We're just gonna go through and flip every one of them. That little guy is going to finish the fastest, I think. All right, we are well on our way, guys. Another five minutes down. Yeah, that's where we're, we're starting to get some color on the bottom. Perfect. We'll give these another five minutes and then check the temperature. Another five minutes is down. Time to start checking our temps. Oh, we're at 150 there. Looking good. 156. Uh, 163. 165. I think it's time for a little barbecue sauce. 
I'm not going to put a lot on these. I'm just using Sweet Baby Ray's regular. Or original, I think is what it's called. And I don't want the barbecue sauce to overflavor this. It's just like anything else, right? We don't want any one flavor to overpower. All right, let's give this another few moments uncovered. And I think it's ready to try. Right, another three minutes is down. It's time to remove these. Just look at those. Wow. Look at those. These are a thing of beauty right there. All right, but before we try them, we're going to make a dipping sauce I think you're going to like. You know me, I'm not big into measurements, so I'm just going to take some mayo, put it in. I'm going to take some horseradish, put it in. Take some ketchup. Ooh, excuse me, put it in. And then I'm just going to take some pickle juice, put it in. Probably a little too much. That's all right. I'm going to stir it up all together. That actually turned out pretty good because that is our dipping sauce. The steam is still rolling off of these and it's been a good five minutes. We're gonna take that little baby one, just try it by itself. Mm. Good flavor guys, really good. The Uncle Steve shines on this. Like I said, if you don't have Uncle Steve's, there's a recipe down below for a shake that you can make yourself and it's really good as well. But now I'm going to try it in our dipping sauce. Hmm. Everything just comes together. The little bit of pickle juice in, well, we had a lot, but the pickle juice in that dipping sauce just adds so much flavor to that. These by themselves stand on their own. So good. Be great with like asparagus or even mashed potatoes, something like that. Green beans, they're so good, easy to make. You could actually make these inside in the oven. I prefer the Weber kettle. I'm an outdoor kind of guy, right? All right, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. The recipe's down below, easy to make. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course YouTube, we're right here. All right guys, we'll talk to you later. Be safe. Time to have another one. Mm.